Ever pictured a mini city in the middle of the ocean? Think offshore oil rigs, colossal structures towering over passing ships, humming with non-stop activity. They're like 24-7 factories extracting oil and gas, the energy stuff we all use. These rigs are crucial for the world economy. Even tiny changes in oil prices shake up countries. But have you ever wondered about the folks who call these rigs home? Life out there is more fascinating than you'd guess. Blank and working 12, 14 hour days. Let's peel back the curtain on the intriguing world of offshore oil rig workers, a tale of hard work, unique challenges, and the unexpected. Step into the shoes of an offshore oil rig worker, and you'll quickly realize that this isn't your typical nine to five job. Luxury takes a back seat as the challenges of life on these towering ocean platforms become evident. It's not just a job, it's a lifestyle. Even with a dozen guys in, when uh, you've got a couple of them thrown up. Where every decision and action could mean the difference between life and death. The dangers are real and the risks are high. Imagine working in an environment where the elements are your constant companions. The relentless sea spray, the roaring winds, and the unpredictable waves. It's a place where precision and caution are paramount, where a momentary lapse in attention could result in disaster. The heavy machinery, the towering structures, and the intricate systems all contribute to an atmosphere where danger lurks around every corner. But why do people willingly choose to work in such demanding conditions? The answer lies in the world's insatiable hunger for oil. For centuries, the demand for this precious resource has soared, often surpassing what traditional land-based drilling could provide. As land wells tapped out, the offshore frontier beckoned, with its promise of untapped reserves beneath the ocean floor. Enter hydraulic machines, technological marvels that dig deep beneath the waves to extract the lifeblood of modern civilization crude oil. These rigs became symbols of ingenuity, standing as testaments to human determination and innovation. While the world is making strides towards cleaner, more sustainable energy sources like wind, water, and solar power, the transition is gradual. Fossil fuels, for all their environmental drawbacks, remain the driving force behind industries, transportation, and infrastructure. The offshore rigs, despite their challenges, stand as critical players in maintaining the energy supply that keeps our societies moving. Moreover, there's a practical aspect to offshore drilling. As our global population swells, the need for space grows alongside it. Land drilling demands extensive plots of land, often displacing communities and contributing to urban sprawl. Offshore rigs provide an alternative solution, helping to conserve valuable land while meeting our energy demands. In fact, venturing into the world of offshore oil rigs isn't just a career change, it's a complete lifestyle shift. Imagine suiting up in a carefully chosen ensemble of safety glasses, hard hats, sturdy boots, and protective gear before you even begin your workday. Safety is paramount, and new arrivals are equipped with the armor needed to navigate this unique environment. But it's not all about gear. Safety training is an ongoing affair. Regular drills and instruction sessions ensure that every crew member is well-versed in the do's and don'ts of working in such an unpredictable setting. The rhythm of life on an offshore oil rig is a symphony of long shifts, ranging from 8 to 12 hours, followed by well-deserved breaks for meals and rest. Day or night, the operation runs non-stop, 24-7, 365 days a year. Yes, it sounds intense, but here's the twist. After a two-week stint on the rig, workers get to savor nearly three weeks of well-earned time off. Now, when it comes to accommodations, life on the rig means minimal worries. Forget about food prep, laundry, or where to lay your head. All those basics are covered. Rooms featuring bunk beds are the norm, keeping in mind the constraints of space. And speaking of space, there are designated smoking areas equipped with lighters, rare treat, as they're typically off-limits outside these zones. But it's not all work and no play. Offshore oil rigs house their own slice of recreation heaven. Picture this, cinemas for movie nights, TVs in each room, fully decked out gyms for fitness enthusiasts, and indoor sports like table tennis. Plus, you're always just a click away from the digital world, thanks to internet-connected computers. For those who call the rig home, like medical staff and caterers, Life's a blend of excitement and responsibility. Modern rigs boast improved safety measures, considerably reducing risks. Still, vigilance is the order of the day. 
Work hours dance to the tune of arrival times and conditions, often aligning with a 12-hour on, 12-hour off rhythm. Flexibility rules the game, adapting work schedules to different roles and tasks. Those two weeks of living on the rig with limited entertainment might seem demanding, but there's a method to the madness. Longer shifts ensure enough rest periods, as every moment spent on the rig is considered working time, including meals and breaks. It's a well-calibrated balance, all in the name of enhancing the well-being of the entire crew. Every crew member on an oil rig embraces a unique routine, meticulously designed to extract the utmost productivity from every second. This tightly choreographed dance begins as the clock strikes midnight, a signal for the rig to come alive under the vast canvas of night sky. It's a 24-hour show where the machinery never takes a bow. Imagine being a part of the night shift. As 11.30 p.m. approaches, the crew starts to stir. It's time to rise, don the essential safety gear, and prepare for the challenges that await. At the stroke of midnight, the rig's heartbeat quickens, marking the official start of the workday. And although your crewmates become like an extended family, you can still get on to The initial moments are dedicated to fueling up, a hearty meal that kickstarts the engine of the body and the mind. The night sky witnesses a flurry of activity. Crew members dive into their tasks, fully immersed in their roles. The night air is filled with purpose, as instructions are given and tasks are assigned. Hours tick by, and the first break arrives at 2 a.m., a brief respite under the veil of darkness. The rig exhales, and its inhabitants take a moment to recharge. As the night deepens, another break arrives at 4 a.m. The world outside is quiet, yet the rig buzzes with energy. The distant sounds of the ocean provide a soothing backdrop to the rhythm of work. Then, at 6 a.m., the rig's kitchen awakens, serving up the second substantial meal of the day. The clock may say breakfast, but for some, it's dinner, a reminder that time is relative on these offshore islands of industry. Amidst the mechanical symphony, personal time emerges at 8 a.m. It's a moment of solitude or camaraderie, a chance to recharge for the challenges that lie ahead. The third break arrives at 10 a.m., offering a moment to catch one's breath amidst the whirlwind of activity. High noon brings the fourth break, a pause before the final sprint towards the finish line. Lunchtime at 2 p.m. is a substantial affair, a refueling stop that provides the energy needed to power through the remaining hours. As the clock strikes 3.30 p.m., the night shift concludes. The machinery begins to settle, and the rig exhales once more. But before the shift ends, there's one last break, a pocket of time to unwind and transition back to the realm of sleep. In the midst of this schedule, rituals emerge, moments that are cherished amidst the routine. Communication with family on shore becomes a lifeline, a connection to the world beyond the rig. Camaraderie with colleagues blossoms, with laughter and stories shared in the pockets of free time. And when rest calls, a movie or a game might offer a temporary escape from the rig's constant hum. Yet, it's not just about the here and now. Offshore oil rigs are also classrooms of learning. These environments demand a specialized skill set, and crew members partake in training and education courses to master the intricacies of their roles. These courses ensure that every crew member is equipped to navigate the unique challenges that the rig presents. When it comes to salaries, the offshore oil rig world dishes out a range of paychecks, all depending on where you stand in the pecking order and how much experience you've tucked under your belt. At the top of the earnings pyramid are the specialized drilling engineers and the underground pipe fitters. These high flyers often pocket a cool 200,000 a year, a figure that certainly catches the eye. But it's not just the big shots who get to enjoy a healthy bank balance. Even the entry-level positions, like the tough-as-nails roughnecks and the versatile roustabouts, pull in respectable salaries. Picture this, annual paychecks ranging from forty dollars to $60,000. Not too shabby, right? Beyond the numbers, it's essential to remember that these dollars come hand in hand with unique challenges and risks. Working on an offshore oil rig is a job that's not for the faint-hearted. The rewards are attractive, yes, but the job demands dedication and grit. Companies in this industry don't just stop at a paycheck. They sweeten the deal with accommodation and family benefits. Imagine a comprehensive insurance coverage, a safety net that provides peace of mind for those daring souls who call the rig home. It's a tantalizing prospect especially for those who thrive on adventure and relish hard work. Now, staying connected to the mainland is a lifeline in this offshore realm. Think of it as a direct link to help, supplies, and emergency aid. It's a lifeline that companies take seriously, meticulously organizing logistics for the crucial mainland transportation. One fascinating mode of transportation is through VTOL, or vertical takeoff and landing helicopters. These aerial wonders, modified to meet the rig's needs, become the bridge between land and sea. Think Airbus and the Bristow Group, names that resonate in the aviation world. 
These helicopters come in various flavors, each designed for a specific purpose. For those quick hops, light helicopters fit the bill. They can shuttle small groups to and from the shore or inspect offshore pipelines, making sure everything's in tip-top shape. These choppers are small in size, but big in utility, carrying essential supplies and a small crew. Medium helicopters step up the game, split into passenger and cargo variants. The passenger type accommodates larger groups, perfect for shift changes. The cargo version? It's your heavy lifter, capable of ferrying sizable loads, including mid-sized hanging objects. Sure, working on an oil rig comes with its fair share of tough days, but the rewards? Oh, there's something to write home about. Picture this, getting your hands on advanced equipment that demands expertise, jet-setting to different corners of the world, and immersing yourself in a role that keeps you on your toes. Sure, you might work non-stop for two or three weeks straight, but then comes the magic an equal amount of time off to kick back and soak up quality moments with your loved ones. And while there might be the occasional office call, downtime isn't a distant dream. After all, even the toughest jobs deserve a moment of relaxation. Alrighty folks, that's a wrap for this video. We hope you found it informative and enjoyable. So what are your thoughts about the working conditions on an offshore oil rig? Share in the comments below. Moreover, if you appreciate our content and wish to stay updated on our latest releases, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell. Your support means the world to us. Thank you for tuning in, and until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.